this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming back with you another video, people. If you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button. Share the video. Um, hit the notification. You know when I drop a video. And also, smash that like button so we can get this video out to um, more people. So, uh, I want to kind of talk about some things when it comes to ammo. And, you know, it's a lot of people don't understand some of the backlash when it comes to what we're dealing with right now in the country. Especially, we got two wars. You got two countries who need more ammunition, who's trying, you know, who's trying to um, keep their troops uh, well armed and stuff like that, you know, in the um, times of battle. So, with that said, um, could these two wars um, pretty much limit supplies here in the United States? Well, let's check on that. I'm talking about, so I'm going to go through several things to see is there an impact and certain things that we don't talked about before and see the impact when it comes to your ammunition here. And so a lot of people focus on one thing when it comes to ammunition. You know, people to my old prepare yourself. Now you're going to have people panic buying and stuff. Whether people panic by or not people, there's other things that can cause ammunition to pretty much decrease on the shelves at your retailers and stuff like that. Um, besides the priorities that a lot of these ammo uh, manufacturers and them are prior, uh, prioritizing um, their ammo to provide for the um, militaries and stuff like that. So with that said, people, let's get into it. Now, right now, I'm just reading through several things right now. So right now, price of ammunition rise substantially. Now, they expect the price of ammunition to rise in 2024 as manufacturers dedicate materials to supply um, these wars that we're dealing with. Now, the first uh, thing that a lot of people, you know, we went over and everything was Vista Outdoors when they announced the sale of this sporting good product division to the Czechoslovakia group. Now, they sold it for $1.91 billion. Now, the sale of Vista Outdoors is not an accident, people. It's the reason why someone wanted to buy that. And we're going to get into it. Now, the Czechoslovakia, um, the Czechoslovakia group um, bought Vista Outdoors. Now, brands include, like we talked before, Federal, CCI, Spear, Heavy Metal, Bushnell, Butler Creek, Hoppies, Remington, which own a large eminent, uh, they, they got a large, um, ammunition plant in Lenoki. So, there's a lot of companies, you know, that we just named that a lot of y'all familiar with. Hoppies, you know, cleaning cleaning your farms and oil and all this kind of stuff it's a lot of stuff that the names that a lot of people um are familiar with that you see all the time at your gun retailers and farm retailers and stuff now sources on the retail side said that vista universe said that the czechoslovakia group wants the ammunition making capacity for the wars you see what i'm saying so they bought vista outdoors now they want them to pretty much make ammunition for the wars and stuff. Now, um, Czechoslovakia-based group, I'm tearing that name up, the Czechoslovakia-based group has seen its revenue and profit rise since Russia invasion of Ukraine as demand for heavy military equipment ammunition shipped to Ukraine has soared. You see what I'm talking about? The uh, equipment has soared and everything. Now, they say in December 2022, uh, Czechoslovakia Group acquired 70% of Fiocchi um, munition. Now, I didn't even know that. So, they they going around just buying different, um, you know, ammo, ammo brands and stuff like that. So, they bought Fiocchi. So, they own 70% of Fiocchi and everything, which in November 2022 announced plans to build a farm primer manufacturing facility in Little Rock. So uh, to my right now, they're they're making plans to build even more facilities and stuff like that. Now, uh, right now, uh, United States um, is one of its only six primer manufacturing facilities 
in the United States is also world only source for lead free primer. So out of one of the six primer manufacturing facilities, um, they're saying one is the only source for lead free primers. So that's uh, something I didn't know about. Now, when uh, interruption occurs in the farm industry, supply chain, the retail ammunition and the ammunition reload market get pinched the hardest. Now, short is also most notable for 9mm Luger, uh, 40 s and 45 ACP, and all common law enforcement military cartridge accelerate production of ammo military and law enforcement, also called shortage in the civilian market. This reduced the availability of 380 Remington and the 22 Long Right. Now, which manufacturing uh, de emphasized when producing high demand for military and police cartridges. So, um, that's some of the stuff that, um, that goes on and everything. So, just kind of putting this out there so you can kind of see what's going on. Now, um, also, they're saying uh, shortages are most acute. And scarcity of factory loading ammunition is equally acute. Scarcity trigger being buying among some customers. Now, big box retailers sell an entire pallet ammo in a, to a few customers as soon as it leaves the truck. Now, moving inventory quickly is ejected for retail um, stores and stuff like that. So, it doesn't matter if it moves through three customers or 30. Now, shortly said during the the carnivores and the pandemic that noticed the same behavior in reloading components. So ammo and reloading components um, react the same way. So, you know, like I said, we see that reloading components was, was scarcity and ammunition was scarce, scarcity. So people who reload the ammunition, they're going out and buying all the powder and all the primers and all that stuff. Uh, we couldn't even find reload pr presses and stuff like that. So everything is pretty much getting hit people like i said before everybody's trying to find uh some way to get around and then you got everybody looking trying to get around boom that whatever idea you come up with hey it's a roadblock there it's a roadblock here it's a roadblock here so there's no way to pretty much run away from it now uh it is it's something people that you know you got to understand that you know as of right now um if things increase when it comes to the Middle East and stuff like that, it's just going to get worse. And then on top of uh, the materials and raw materials that I'm talking about, that we are competing against other countries for to get this stuff to produce for your ammo and your firearms and stuff like that. I'm talking about it's just going to, the price is just going to go up, people. So uh, just want to kind of um, go over some of this stuff that I'm talking about right now looking at this article and stuff like that so um we have learned that you know vista got bought out and then they bought vista out because why uh they have they want to pretty much buy them out so they can control what you know vista is pretty with the ammo and stuff they want to control the ammo so they want to produce more ammo uh for ukraine and stuff like that the czechoslovakia group and we found out they bought 70 percent of fiochi so Hey, uh, to my every move that you see in the industry when it comes to the ammo plants and stuff like that being bought, it's the reason, people. There's always a plan behind that. So, just want to talk about that a little bit, people. Hit the subscribe button and everything. This is these Channel Guns. I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.